Alpha Alpha team, this is the talk radio check. Are you loud and clear? Over. Roger, same you. Bravo team, radio check. Good copy for Bravo. Roger, loud and clear. Uh, so this is the talk. We see uh, currently we see the uh, Alpha and Bravo teams moving in route to their respective phase lines. Out. Team in position. Roger, and we see the same. Okay, so now, and Alpha and Bravo team, just stand by one minute. So now I've drawn a graph. I've drawn a graphic of where uh, where I want these teams to be in that L shape. I'm still tracking the general location of where my suspect is. And now, if I wanted, if I get updated information, if you know a reconnaissance element or whoever says, "Hey, maybe the suspect move," I can just move that point and then resend that out, and that gets dropped on everyone else's ATAC. So now, at this point, what I'm going to have Alpha and Bravo team do is just converge on the suspect and just figure out what's going on. Okay, Alpha and Bravo team, uh, this is the operation center. We see you all in position. Alpha team, I see you in position along phase line orange. Bravo team, I see you in position along phase line yellow. Go ahead and Alpha and Bravo team converge on the suspect location. When Bravo team, I mean, they're moving off the line to go to the suspect location now, but what they were spread out, they were about three to five meters apart when they were along the, along the wall. Bravo team engaging target. Roger. Again, a very simple illustration of using ATAC as a planning tool to control your elements and get them into the right positions, verify that they're in the right position, that, they're, that they are where they are, where you need them to be to set the conditions in order to be successful.